Sir. Ah, sons of bitches. Be quiet. You ain't going nowhere. I'll kill all of you. Will you just shut up back right there? Easy. It's okay. You're a brave girl. Shit. <clears throat> ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Well, I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. <laughs> and where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. 
<laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Giddy up. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. If they see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Too fast, Arthur. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much for way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. They're left here, towards roads. Going too fast. So, anyway, my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick. And fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. Hey, slow down a bit. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's excessive. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. Hey, hey, take it easy. And here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the truck. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, yeah. get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Get up there. Finish up here. Join us on board. Go on. Get hey. on there. Foster. All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Ah! Everybody, stay calm. Sure. Everybody Everybody get shot. Let's go. Everything you got. Money, valuables. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving until this bag's full! I want you. I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? I am adverse to confront. What's the problem here? I, I don't want to get hurt. Money! Oh, hey, don't do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay! Come on! Okay! I In the bag, everything you got! Keep it coming, don't be shy! People like you make me sick! These two seem to think we're playing games. I'm gonna count to three. Oh, damn it. Oh, God. Sick is better Here. than dead, lady. And I'm Thank using you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be Ladies over. Ladies and gentlemen, Get Mr. Robert. Robert. Let's make this quick. Get everything you got. Oh, you sure about 
Taking a look yet? There's probably something in here after. Assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, <laughs> we're fighting. Marshal Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way, neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more to torn enough. Damn my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. And you weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yep. 
Yes? Can I help you? Hey! Ah, ah. God. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph? Or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill! Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me... Their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Oh, so, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph together like actual friends no, I'm fine it's it's sort of ridiculous listen jump people love it and I could sell even more fish if I had them <laughs> it helps them to know that out there there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning okay I can't catch enough of them and there's really good money in this I fish a little you do well in that case Send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear... Let's go. Bro. Yep. died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. That horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. 
Must have dozed off. But I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? Oh, we're getting close now. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Take me out again. See where it gets you. Ah, oh, it's you. Hello, mister. Go on, have yourself a What's quick nosey. Got a little kick show in mind, huh? you leave me alone I won't ask you again I'd never say anything never go on and remember not a word
Can't you help a fella out? Who's this coward? Ain't no way to talk to somebody. I just want to get a drink. You're a goddamn joke. Luckily, we ain't been blown into the sky. Just shut Gonna up and turn back part. around. Oh, so I you gave you a chance. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Hello there, and welcome. Nothing like a fresh. See you later. Calm down. You're an odd, odd fella. Hey there, partner. Stepped in. I thought you had it covered. Just wait till you're old. I'll be at camp if you need me. Hell, there's a face I haven't seen in some time. Hey, weren't you the one in here talking to that feller with Jim Boy Calloway? Yeah, that's right. More like Jim Drunk Old Man Calloway. <laughs> sure seems that way. <laughs> 